talk you through this, this third hole at the Grove. For me, we've got the bunkers down the left, the wind is straight down today, so with that, I, I should be able to carry it with a driver, so for me, I'm gonna, gonna take those bunkers on, hopefully clear them, be in the fairway. Um, should leave maybe 100, 120 yards left in. I tend to pick a spot in the distance, sort of like a, like a tall tree or an opening in the trees, and then I tend to pick a spot maybe three feet in front of the ball. So I can line up the club to that. For sort of the mid handicapper amateur, you've got the bunks at sort of 260. So the best thing to do is probably lay up short to them into the fat of the fairway. Um, give themselves a good, good chance of getting it in play, uh, finding the ball and going for the green and two. So basically I'm going to start it at that tallest tree you can see, which is along with the bunkers, and just let the wind drift it back into the, into the middle of the fairway. And hopefully should have about 120, 125 left into the pin. And I have. <laughs> We're in the, in the middle of the fairway, it was the first take, so that, that's handy. Um, we've taken on a, a tough drive here, um, but now we've got a nice birdie chance. Um, I said on tee we'd probably have 120 to 125, we've got 123, so it worked out perfectly. We're downwind, um, going over water, Obviously for the amateurs, they're probably thinking about the water, which is probably the worst thing you could do. So when, when you come in with a shot over water or down water, you just got to forget about it completely. Try, try not to think about it. Um, so here now we've got a, it's, we've turned a tough par four into, into a nice birdie chance. So hopefully we can go ahead and convert. Ooh, nearly. Nearly. Uphill putt. Not a lot of break in it to be fair. If anything, probably want it to come a slight bit right to left at the end there. Oh, and it's it. <sighs> Didn't hit it. Up the collar. And that's how you play a long par four.